Gold bearing ore. Gold bearing ore is a naturally occurring geological material, usually rock, sediment, or mineral aggregate, that contains measurable amounts of gold in forms that can potentially be extracted and utilized for industrial, commercial, or economic purposes. Unlike isolated gold nuggets or visible flakes that can sometimes be collected directly, gold bearing ores typically present the metal in more complex forms. Gold may exist as Native gold particles, visible grains, flakes, or small nuggets embedded within the host rock. Microscopic or invisible gold, extremely fine particles locked within the crystal structure of other minerals, such as pyrite or arsenopyrite. Chemically bound gold, gold that has combined with other elements to form mineral compounds or is finely disseminated throughout the rock. Geological settings of gold-bearing ores. Gold-bearing ores occur in different geological environments, and geologists typically classify them into two broad categories. Primary, load, ores, these are formed directly in bedrock, usually within quartz veins, hydrothermal vein systems, or disseminated deposits within intrusive igneous rocks. Gold is deposited during hydrothermal activity and is often found with sulfide minerals like pyrite, chalcopyrite, and galena. Secondary, Placer, ores, these result from the weathering, erosion, and transportation of gold from primary deposits. Over time, heavier gold particles accumulate in riverbeds, alluvial plains, and beach gravels. Placer gold-bearing ores are typically easier to mine because the gold is free and mechanically concentrated by natural processes. Economic Importance For an ore to be classified as gold-bearing, it must contain a sufficient concentration, known as the grade, to justify extraction. Grades are measured in grams of gold per ton of ore, G T. Even very low-grade ores, for example, 1 to 2 grams per ton, can be economically valuable if processed in bulk using modern mining and metallurgical technologies. Processing and Extraction The recovery of gold from gold-bearing ore involves several stages. Crushing and grinding the ore to liberate gold particles. Concentration methods such as gravity separation, flotation, or amalgamation to separate heavier gold from gang minerals. Chemical methods like cyanidation, heap leaching, or bioleaching to dissolve and recover gold that is locked within minerals. Refining to produce pure gold suitable for industrial and monetary use. Geological and industrial relevance. The study of gold-bearing ores is essential in geology, economic geology, and mining engineering. These ores not only provide valuable insight into Earth's mineral-forming processes but also remain one of the most sought-after resources in human history due to gold's rarity, durability, and cultural significance. Geological Settings of Gold-Bearing Ores the occurrence of gold-bearing ores is strongly controlled by geological settings, which influence how gold is transported, concentrated, and deposited within Earth's crust. Gold does not usually occur uniformly within rocks, instead, it becomes enriched under specific geological conditions that favor its mobilization and precipitation. Broadly, the geological settings of gold-bearing ores are divided into primary, load, deposits and secondary, placer, deposits, though additional subcategories exist depending on tectonic environments, host rocks, and mineral associations. 1. Primary, Load, Gold-Bearing Ores Primary ores are those that form directly in bedrock during hydrothermal, magmatic, or metamorphic processes. Gold is introduced into the host rock by circulating fluids, magmatic activity, or structural deformation. Some of the most common settings include a. Quartz veins and vein-type deposits. Gold is often concentrated in hydrothermal quartz veins, which form when hot, mineral-rich fluids move through fractures and faults in rocks. These veins commonly contain gold associated with sulfide minerals such as pyrite, arsenopyrite, chalcopyrite, and galena. Such settings are typical of orogenic gold deposits, which are linked to ancient mountain building processes b. Intrusive-related deposits. Gold can also form in association with granitic intrusions and related igneous activity. Here, the metal is deposited along the margins of intrusions, contact zones, 
and SCARN systems, often with copper, molybdenum, and tungsten. Example, porphyry copper gold systems of the Andes and Central Asia. C. Volcanogenic settings. In some volcanic arcs, gold becomes concentrated in epithermal deposits, which form near the Earth's surface from hydrothermal fluids. These are typically divided into high sulfidation and low sulfidation epithermal systems, with gold associated with silica, alanite, barite, and sulfides. D. Banded iron formation, hosted deposits. Gold is also found in banded iron formations, where it is associated with iron oxides, carbonates, and sulfide minerals. These deposits are structurally controlled and are important sources of gold in regions such as the greenstone belts of South Africa and Western Australia. E. Metamorphic settings. During regional metamorphism, gold may be mobilized from surrounding rocks and reprecipitated in structurally favorable sites. Orogenic gold deposits are the best example, typically forming in ancient metamorphic terrains such as Archean cratons. 2. Secondary, placer, gold-bearing ores. Secondary deposits result from the weathering, erosion, and transport of gold from primary bedrock sources. Because of its high density and resistance to chemical alteration, gold tends to accumulate mechanically in sediments. a. Alluvial placers. Found in riverbeds, stream channels, and floodplains. Gold particles settle in gravels and sands where water flow decreases, inside river bends, behind obstacles, or in natural riffles. Historically, these deposits provided the basis for gold rushes in California, Klondike, and elsewhere. b. Alluvial placers. Form close to the primary source due to mechanical weathering and downhill movement of gold particles under gravity. Usually found on slopes and in soils above load deposits. c. Beach placers. Found along coastlines, where wave and tidal action concentrate heavy minerals like gold, magnetite, and ilmenite. Notable examples occur along the west coast of Alaska and parts of New Zealand. d. Paleoplacers. Ancient, lithified placer deposits preserved within sedimentary rock sequences. Some of the world's largest gold resources, such as the Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa, are paleoplacer deposits that formed billions of years ago. 3. Structural and tectonic controls. The formation of gold-bearing ores is also strongly influenced by structural geology. Fault zones, shear zones, and fold hinges often serve as conduits for hydrothermal fluids, making them prime locations for load gold deposits. Tectonic settings such as convergent margins, rift zones, and cratonic basins provide environments where gold-bearing fluids are mobilized and deposited. 4. Regional Examples Orogenic Gold Belts, Canadian Shield, Yilgarn Craton, Australia, Barberton and Witwatersrand, South Africa. Epithermal and Volcanic Hosted Deposits, Andes, Peru, Chile, Nevada, USA, Philippines. Placer Deposits, California, Yukon, Canada, Siberia, Russia. In summary, the geological settings of gold-bearing ores range from deep-seated hydrothermal veins and intrusive systems to surface-level placer deposits shaped by erosion and transport. Understanding these settings is essential for exploration geologists, since the identification of the correct environment directly guides modern mining strategies. Economic Importance of Gold-Bearing Ore Gold-bearing ore has been one of the most significant geological resources in human history. Its economic importance extends far beyond simple mining, it influences global finance, industrial development, cultural traditions, and even international politics. The extraction, processing, and utilization of gold-bearing ore form a central pillar of the global mineral economy. 1. Foundation of the Gold Mining Industry Gold-bearing ores are the raw material for the gold mining sector, one of the most valuable branches of the mineral industry. Mining companies invest heavily in the discovery, extraction, and processing of these ores because gold maintains strong demand across multiple markets. Employment generation, millions of workers worldwide are directly employed in gold mining, exploration, and refining. Infrastructure development, 
mining projects often stimulate the construction of roads, power facilities, and water supply systems in remote regions. Tax revenues Many national economies depend on gold royalties, mining taxes, and export duties as major sources of income. 2. Contribution to global economy and trade. Gold bearing ores underpin the international trade in gold, a commodity that is universally accepted across cultures and economies. Gold is traded on major exchanges, London, New York, Shanghai, where its price reflects global demand, currency fluctuations, and investor sentiment. Countries with rich gold bearing or reserves, such as China, Australia, South Africa, Russia, and Canada, hold strategic advantages in global trade. For developing countries, gold mining can represent a significant portion of gross domestic product, export earnings, and foreign currency reserves. 3. Monetary and Financial Role Historically, gold extracted from or served as the foundation of entire monetary systems. The gold standard, for centuries, many nations tied the value of their currency to gold reserves, ensuring monetary stability. Central bank reserves, even today, central banks stockpile gold bullion as a hedge against inflation, currency devaluation, and economic crises. Safe haven asset, in times of war, recession, or uncertainty, gold retains purchasing power, making gold bearing or a cornerstone of long-term financial security. 4. Industrial and Technological Applications While jewelry and finance dominate, gold bearing or also fuels important industrial uses after refining. Electronics, gold's excellent conductivity and corrosion resistance make it indispensable in connectors, circuit boards, and microchips. Medical Technology, gold nanoparticles are used in targeted drug delivery, diagnostic tests, and even cancer treatments. Aerospace, gold coatings are applied to spacecraft and satellites for radiation shielding and thermal control. Green technologies, gold is increasingly used in catalytic converters, hydrogen production, and renewable energy devices. 5. Jewelry and Cultural Value Culturally, gold derived from gold bearing or has symbolized wealth, prestige, and spiritual significance for millennia. Jewelry production consumes roughly 50% of the world's refined gold each year, making it the largest single use of mined gold. Societies across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and the Americas view gold jewelry not only as ornamentation but also as a store of wealth and an inheritance asset. Religious artifacts, crowns, and ceremonial objects often contain gold sourced from ancient ores, demonstrating its timeless cultural importance. Six catalyst for historical events and development. Gold bearing or has shaped entire civilizations and histories. The California Gold Rush, 1848-1855, and Klondike Gold Rush, 1896-1899, sparked mass migrations, urban development, and the growth of economies in North America. The Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa transformed the region into one of the richest mining areas in the world, profoundly affecting both economic and political history. In many countries, gold discovery marked the beginning of modern exploration, infrastructure, and industrialization. 7. Strategic and National Security Value Because of its economic stability, gold is considered a strategic resource. Governments secure reserves of gold bullion to ensure national financial stability. In times of global uncertainty, nations turn to gold markets for security. Gold-bearing or deposits thus have direct geopolitical significance, as control over them strengthens national independence and bargaining power. 8. Environmental and Social Considerations Although economically vital, gold-bearing or extraction raises important environmental and social questions. Environmental costs, open-pit mining, cyanide leaching, and tailings disposal may cause pollution, deforestation, and water contamination. Community impact, mining regions often face displacement, cultural disruption, or economic inequality despite the wealth generated. Sustainability, increasing attention is given to responsible gold mining, recycling of gold, and fair trade certifications to minimize harm and maximize benefits. 
9. Future Economic Role Looking forward, gold bearing or will continue to play a central economic role due to ongoing demand in electronics and advanced technologies. Rising investor interest in gold as a hedge against economic instability. New exploration techniques, geophysical surveys, deep sea mining, and satellite imaging, opening untapped reserves. Recycling combined with or mining ensuring long term global supply. In summary, gold bearing ore is far more than just a geological curiosity, it is the foundation of global wealth systems, a driver of industrial progress, and a catalyst for cultural identity and historical change. Its economic importance lies in its unique ability to connect the natural world of geology with the complex systems of human society, finance, and technology.